Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. We're going to do a little walk through this Friday just to conclude our preset week with a preset from my Trans State pack that released last week on the website. If you haven't already seen it, you can grab it on the website. There is actually another pack dropping this weekend as well for Silent, and that's going to be 15 Trans Leads as well. So there's going to be a bit of a sale going on, so if you haven't had a chance to get it in last week's sale, there is going to be another one just for this weekend only, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So the LD Mouse preset is not meant to sound like Dead Mouse stuff, it's influenced by it, it's taking that that's really bare bones, basic default oscillator sound and just kind of mixing it up a little bit to get that sound. And if you play this nicely across an octave, it sounds quite rich. So this is the sound. And if we was to play a lower note in there, which my hands do not have more fingers to do that, this would be a quite a nice sound. And from the preset demo, this is the sound here that we are looking at, and this is full. So you can hear there's a lot of low end detail in there, but not too much, just enough to make that synth sound full and then give you control on removing that or just controlling that low end in your mix. Right, so let's create a preset. We'll just use some MIDI that I've just played there. So I'll just record some MIDI in and then we'll tidy it up a little bit. And it's just going to be a running set of the same chord structure. So bear with me, I do have a little bit of time lag as you may hear there on the recording so everything sounds a little bit out of time. But if we set that to eighths, we should get a nice solid set of chords there. So I'm going to bring them to full volume. And in fact, we're going to set that to sixteenths like that. So we'll recreate something now with that just playing in the background. So let's initialize the preset here. And build the basics. So as you can see on the previous preset, I used a couple of uh, unison voices, and that's just to really spread it. Uh, not really add detune in there, but just to spread it out, but you can have the option to detune it later. So that sounds a little bit better than this. And if you want to set it to three voices, that will give you a central harmonic as well. Which then you can blend how you want. Straight down the middle, straight up stereo. So let's go for that. So we've got a nice central piece, but we've got some outside detail as well that's leaking into the stereo field. Again, oscillator 2, we're going to have like that, but we're going to drop that one octave. Okay, sounding to sound really nice. And what we'll do with envelope 1 is leave it as it is. I'm happy with where everything's set for now. What we're going to focus on here is getting this filter to operate nicely and we're going to set this to an 18 decibel per octave and let's I like it about there. And we're just going to set the mod wheel up. So the probably the best way to yeah, we'll just we'll set the mod wheel up first. It's the easiest thing we can do here. So we want it to about there. So that's let's just say that's three o'clock and send both oscillators to it. And we want it to open to about there. So now when we open this, let's go a bit further. Brilliant. Now we want that classic pluck feel. Easy enough, just grab envelope 2, drag that over to the cutoff, and we'll do about 1 o'clock to start with. So it's opening up the filter a little bit from where it's cut off, but it's not as going far as where we would open it up with that mod wheel. And we're just going to drag this down and create a plug. Okay. 
All right, so we've got the two envelopes set up. We've just left envelope one as it is, and then we've set this to a much sharper decay and very quick sustain release on there. So we've got this nice plucky effect. So we're gonna change the position of this now to open up the filter to the desired level. Now we can go into the matrix and we can change it using the sliders here, but it's much quicker just to grab these bits here. So we were here. Let's open it up a little bit more. That sounds about nice there. So let's just mess around with the drive and the fat. Just give it a bit of a boost there going through that filter. Sounding really nice. Let's just get more pluck out of there by dragging the attack right down. Much nicer. So we've got the basics set up. We can add some noise on top, so we might as well do that whilst we're here. And we'll use a standard, should we just use bright white on here? Turn it down, send it to the filter. So you can hear it there. And it's not being controlled by an envelope. It is by envelope one, but it's pretty open. And we just want this on the attack. So we're going to assign envelope three to the level. And we're going to set it to about here. So let's just filter this in using the mod wheel. So that's quite nice. That's quite a nice level just there. lower. I'm just going to make it a little bit pluckier. Perfect. So now we've got the basics of the sound set up. We can close that modulation uh, wheel. So there's not much dynamic range on the modulation wheel there, so we are going to drop that cut off a little bit lower. And we have to adjust the envelope a little bit. Just get that snappy bit coming back through, and we will have to adjust the mod wheel here. can see the mod wheel is moving to about here before you hear a sound so there's a lot of mod wheel wastage there so I'm just going to drag this back a bit there that's better brilliant so we can now head into the effects and we can add some extras in here so let's just put reverb and delay on we'll put reverb second delay first let's just put them like that if they'll land and in the delay, we'll just drop the mix for now. We'll leave it on normal. I'm just going to drag some of that lower end out there. Like so. Let's hear what that sounds like. I'm just going to drag that to... In fact, let's drag that to dotted. So we're not going to hear too much of that because of the straight rhythm there we're doing in eighths. But you can hear that's got quite a nice spread on the ears there. Let's just try ping pong. I think it's going to be a bit too excessive. Yeah. So I'm just going to turn the mix down. Right, we've got that set. Now with this, I'm just going to set this to plate. Set the width up, set that size up a little bit, drop the to about 10 milliseconds on the pre-delay, and I'm just going to cut out some of those lows to about 20%. Introduce some of those highs back in. So we just want it to gently ease that sound. I don't want too much of that reverb washing over the sound. I just want it to support the harmonics a little bit. Right, so we've got all that sound there. So let's go back to the MIDI. Zoom this out. And I'm just going to grab this root note here and put it down an octave. Just make sure everything's in time. 
we just need to set that to eights again. Perfect. Now you can hear adding that extra layer on the MIDI has brought this patch to life by adding a little bit low, more low end and in a, in a controlled way as well. So you can control this further, we can go in there and put an EQ on there and we can just roll off some of the lows if we wanted to. Let's say roll them off at about 45 hertz. just to get rid of any of that lower portion that might just conflict with your low end. And then you can tune this yourself. Obviously, if you was to buy this preset, you've got full control over shaping that lower end or that top end as well, just by using some EQ in here. And we could add some compression in here. Let's just go for it. Four to one is fine. It's letting enough of the click through there. Just have a faster release. Open the filter. Okay, sounding really good. So that's the basics of that. Then it's entirely up to you how you want to use the effects down here. So we can assign these to all different parameters. We can have some wavetable bending. So we can have a plus and minus mode and shape out that and give it all different shapes. But if we put that to zero there, we've got the original sound there, but then we can start to bend this any way we like. And if you can see in the matrix, it's assigned to bi-directional, bipolar. So we're just gonna set that to unidirectional. So if you go that way, we can thin the sound out a little bit. Thicken it out, thin it out kind of returns it to the center as well so it has an interesting mono effect so we could just call that i don't know mono bend and there you are you've got that mono bend we can do the same thing again here we could add a uh, plus minus on there as well set that to zero so it's as it was drag that over to the bend mode Again, you can see it's gone to bipolar, put that there, and again, narrow that down. And you get a nice, tight, concealed sound rather than it being wider, you can shrink that down. And we could do the same by automating the detune or the blend mode as well. So we could emphasize that even more. These are designed to add macro capabilities to the synth where you can control multiple parameters. Don't just add it to one parameter and leave it at that. So we want we, we know what we're doing here, so we're going to change this blend mode and we're going to force this out a little bit. As you can see, these two blend modes are here. I think it was just about there. And what we'll do is we'll drag it down to about 2 o'clock. Same again for the blend mode on here. In fact, no, we don't need to do that as uh, remove all modulation because this hasn't used any unison there. Nice and centered, nice and wide. So there we are, we have the perfect opportunity there to sort that out. What we can do with the envelopes and the cutoff, we can use this to push up, say, 12. What we'll do is that will move the cutoff now up a little smidge which will make this envelope to open the filter a little bit more on that plucky side. Gives a nice feel. So if you require a little bit more bite in the start of your track, there you are, you've got a little bit more when that filter's closed.
perfect. And then as soon as you start to add a side chain to that, it's all going to sound lovely. So there we are. That is a sort of recreation of the LD mouse preset from my Transstate preset pack on the website. If you haven't already grabbed yourself a copy or you haven't seen it, you can head over to the website. Link is in the description to go and have a look and see if there's anything else there. You might fancy there is a bit of a sale going on this weekend. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Three videos per week, including trance and music production tutorials across the board. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.